Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Gainesville, Texas, and I'm getting ready to start the ride around Texas today. And it's just gorgeous weather. Uh, so you guys stick around for day one. Lone Star Rider on his motorcycle. No rest. No, no. <laughs> Daily Register. I uh, was supposed to stop here and talk to some people at the Daily Register, but that ain't happening. The editor is on leave for maternity. <laughs> and they ain't having anybody else talk to me. The doors are closed. She said the whole office is closed, even though there's people in there. Makes no sense. So anyway, I'm not getting a story here at uh, Gainesville uh, in the paper, which would have been nice, but I'm going to find a place to eat around here and then I'm going to check out the courthouse and then I'll be heading east. East. So y'all come follow along. I've been down so long that my mind can't get no rest. here at the Cook County Courthouse in Gainesville, Texas. A, uh, ne another uh, Confederate monument, which is still standing, which I am ecstatic that it is, because we need to know our history. Just erasing it doesn't make it go away. And here's uh, downtown Gainesville. There's a building over there I want to check out uh, next to the railroad. Love those eagles there. Next to the pillars. It says this tablet marker, the old California trail blazed by the pioneers of the 49, uh, 49 Cook County Purple Heart Country. Veterans Memorial here, which is very cool. This is a beautiful courthouse, too. Love the clock. Looks like it's working. Not like in Back to the Future. <laughs> I passed the checkpoint, and they said, be sure to get a photo of this. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That is absolutely awesome. Look at all that stained glass work. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> They're uh, safe here. They got as a storage. Yeah, it's the little things like this. Make these uh, now. <laughs> I'm looking at this. You should have to use that chair to get into that room. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Those look like tulips on the stained glass or what I'm not really sure. Well let's go up another level. I love this openness here on the floors. Just absolutely awesome. This is my last uh, floor up here on the top. I think it's the third. 
All right, guys, this is a very, very cool courthouse. I like it a lot. It's a, it's a butte. It's a butte, Clark. <laughs> Let me know if you know what that reference is. Beautiful courthouse. This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my trail. After checking out the courthouse, I came over here across the street to a place called Sarah on the Square. And uh, I'm going to have lunch here. They post, they said they had the world's best burger. We'll find out if they do. <laughs> by the way, this video is brought to you by Twisted Technology. The best darn little motorcycle shop in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Their information will be down below. Check them out. The sweet potato fries are awesome. This is one third pound over here. World's best? I don't think so, but it's pretty darn good. A bad bird. Lone Star Rider here. I'm here at the Santa Fe Gainesville uh, Depot. I don't know if this is a working depot or not. It doesn't say anything. It's got a museum in there, but that's close too. So, not able to check that out like I was wanting to. Well, they've got a uh, Amtrak sign here, so maybe this is a kind of a working depot. I don't know. Maybe it only opens. At certain hours. I'll certainly look it up. If I find anything, I'll put it in the link below. So uh, I'm going to continue on east. I'm heading out of. Got to see some big people coming up. So y'all stick around. <laughs> oh no. It ain't easy, darling. Star Rider here. I'm considered to be still in Gainesville. It's about maybe four or five miles northeast of Gainesville downtown. And uh, I'm here to meet some really, really big people. Let's go meet them. There we go. We got five of them. These are. Uh, fiberglass uh, belt called the muffler man uh, the uniroyal gal and big techs there uh, there's there are certain kinds here I really don't see the um, the hand holding of the muffler man but this guy here those those two are the same that guy and that guy right there in the middle of course, you got Big Tex, you know, Royal Gal. And I'm not sure about the one on the end. He looks like he's evil. <laughs> he's the evil one out of the bunch. <laughs> That's the evil brother. Well, anyway, I'm here at Glenn Goods, uh, Sam Blasting and Rental, or the Fiberglass Man. He's got his number up there if you want to give him a call. We gave him a little uh, promotion. And out of all of this, they've got a little cow, a calf. I'm not sure why he's here. Is he fiberglass? Yep, fiberglass.
Looks like people writing on their names. Well, you know I'm going to have to look. Have to look. She's wearing panties. <laughs> Yeah, they're in really good shape and he's kept them up well. Yeah, nice concrete platform and bolted down. Yeah, if you tell me, does he look evil? <laughs> I think he looks evil. Compared to these other guys, they're smiling. I don't know. Looks like text it might be up to something. I'm not sure about that. Yep. So let's continue on. Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I'm here in Calsburg, Texas at the Calsburg United Methodist Church. And y'all can pause and take a look at the uh, plaque if you want to read more of the history on this or go look it up. Uh, pretty cool. I was looking for the cemetery out here and I can't find it. It's supposed to be haunted. <laughs> I'll go check out up here at the uh, first oil well here in Caldwell. Or in Cook County. I can't run, I can't hide. I can't stay in no more. This is the uh, site right here for the uh, first oil well in Cook County. And there's also a geocache here. <laughs> and I found it. Yay! Didn't take too much long. Except for this sign is well hidden from these bushes. And I just could not find it. I drove, probably walked around and drove around here a couple of times just to find this dead gum sign. Historical sign. <laughs> anyway, it's a pretty cool find. You can uh, pause this if you want to and read this. Um, it says Bud W. Davis uh, Farm, one mile east here, uh, was producing oil on uh, November 9th. Very cool. All right, I'm going to see if I can find that dead gum cemetery. If I can't, I'm going to continue on. I don't know where it's at. Ha! Frustrating. This is on the third floor of a antique shop, Touch of Class. This is the Outlaw Trail Historical Museum. And Edison Edaphone, very cool. X-ray outfit. That's pretty darn cool. A prisoner's ball and chain. Look at that lock. That's pretty cool. This is a slide roll, wow. He used to use a slide rule in high school. Back before there were computers that used to do that stuff for us. Yeah, I'm showing my age. This is a knitting machine. Really? An old box camera there.
Looks like an old projector or some sort. I think American Pickers would like this. Actually, I think they would like a bunch of that stuff in here. This guy's pretty cool, whatever he is. You can see the inside of him. Bunch of old newspapers here. This is pretty cool. They're all laminated. Paper from when Kennedy was shot. All of these are from uh, the same era when Kennedy was shot. Look at all these little televisions. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen one of these before. Real to real quarter. Bringing back memories, old bag phones. I have one of these in storage somewhere. I know what this is. This is a time clock. When I worked for a security company for a whole two months, I used to have to carry one of these and you'd go around. You have to take the key that was uh, mounted on the wall and you would uh, put the key in there and you would mark your time in different locations around the factory. And that way they knew that you were walking around checking the factory out. Very cool. Has a clock in the middle there. Yeah, I had a security job for a whole two months. I worked for somebody named Irwin or something like that. He was a uh, police chief out in Blue Mound or something like that. An old Radio Shack walkie-talkie. Breaker Breaker 1-9. How about you, buddy, you out there? I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Very cool radio. Some nice little blast from the past. Here's some stuff for uh, Nomadic Fanatic. Mickey! What the heck is this? A junior dial typewriter. Never seen one of those before. The Outlaw Trail Museum, historical museum, is very, very cool. Brought some memories back. You get a chance, check it out. Do it. I'll have a link down below where you can find it. Awesome. Howdy, y'all. Lone Star Rider here. I'm at the Grayson County Courthouse checking it out. Y'all coming along. This looks like more of one of the uh, modern courthouses. Oh, very cool marble in here though. Wow. Commission Court. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. This is very cool too. How you doing? Good. I was just going to take a quick picture here. They got you doing sterilization, huh? Yeah. We're all still freaking out about it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I know. No common sense left in the world, I'm telling you. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you are absolutely right. It I is gone. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. Got another courtroom over here. Check it out. Sometimes these courtrooms will mirror the other courtroom, which they do, except for these plastic things in here and around the judge. 
Can't sit there, can't sit there. There, there. Huh, interesting. And the stuff there on the ceiling is awesome. Don't know if the camera does it justice. And the, uh, and the fans give it a uh, old timey courtroom <laughs> feel here, which is very cool. I'm liking this marble. That is beautiful. I see this county didn't even uh, At this courthouse, ouch. Thought I broke something. <laughs> uh, this courthouse didn't have a temperature taking or uh, someone guarding the entrance. Uh, but uh, this is pretty cool for a Grayson County courthouse. All right, let's go check out this other memorial over here. These historical markers. We got another uh, Confederate memorial. I just think we ought to keep our history around instead of tearing it down and because of what it stood for. Any of these uh, historical markers you want to read, just uh, pause and uh, read them. Read them and weep. <laughs> this one here is about the 11th Texas Calvary, the 9th Texas Calvary. And this one's about Grayson County. And this one, which is also hard to read, is about... I cannot read this. Wow. I guess this was supposed to be by the Railroad Commission. Needs some work. It's hard to read. Here past Marcy from the California Trail. The time capsule. Be open in 2086. Way freaking cool. I love time capsules. I'd like to be here when they open it. Probably won't be. <laughs> That's, uh, the Japanese Model 92. This is about President Roosevelt's visit to Grayson County. This place has a lot of historical markers. Nice little uh, downtown square. This is about Peter W. Grayson, which is probably what this county was named. Is that another time capsule? To be open in 276, July 1st. <laughs> i tell you what, this uh, new iPhone 11 here, it is taking some awesome shots. Uh, it's unbelievable how well it does. Well, this is a Grayson County Firefighter and Law Enforcement Memorial. Very cool. In honor of our war veterans. All right. Uh, from the pioneer log cabins to a native Texan limestone structure, Grayson County courthouses have taken many shapes and sizes since the counties established in 1846. Seven courthouses were built. Wow. <laughs>
occupy this museum. Museum. This museum. Ain't nobody back here but me. <laughs> hmm. What? Maybe it's a radio system. Uh, the out. Thumbs up. Share. Come in. Come on. Shit. Maybe I shouldn't move while I'm step. I could have killed myself. Let's try this again.